to U.S. retaliatory strikes on key targets in Iraq after an attack on a U.S. air base there that injured three service members. Jay O'Brien joins us live from the White House with the latest. Good morning to you, Jay. Eva, good morning. The White House says President Biden personally authorized these strikes on Christmas night, destroying three facilities linked to the group Khatib Hezbollah, the Hezbollah brigades, an Iran-backed paramilitary group in Iraq. It comes in response to a series of attacks from that group on Americans in the region, including one just hours before on Christmas, when a self-detonating drone struck a U.S. base in northern Iraq, injuring three service members, including leaving one in critical condition. The White House says President Biden was immediately briefed on that attack and ordered these strikes in response, which specifically targeted areas used by the groups for drone operations. There were no reports of civilians impacted, according to U.S. Central Command. The Pentagon says that since the beginning of the Israel-Hamas war, there have been at least 100 attacks on U.S. and coalition forces in Iraq and Syria. Administration officials saying this morning that if those attacks do not stop, they will continue to respond. Eva. Jay O'Brien for us there at the White House. Thank you, Jay. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.